Welcome to the Kansas Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A on your screen to type the questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the presenters cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available to you in about a week at the same website where you registered. And now I would like to turn over to our first presenter, Cloud County Community College. Hello, my name is Molly Seifer. I am one of the admissions counselors here for Cloud County. Um, I'm just going to start here with our presentation. So let's get started. Um, so first let's talk admissions. How do you become a T-Bird? Well, the very first step is to apply for admission. Our application is available through our website at cloud.edu. It is a free application and doesn't take students any more than 15 minutes to complete. The next part is to send us your transcript. So as a current senior or, or once you turn a current senior, we just ask that you send over a current copy of your high school transcript and then we can get you out that acceptance letter. And then we just ask that you send over all official transcripts once you graduate and then any college transcripts that you may have by taking concurrent classes during high school. The next step is fund your future. Um, so that would consist of our scholarship applications and the FAFSA application. The FAFSA actually opened last Thursday, October 1st, so that is available now. If you have any questions about FAFSA, I encourage you to speak with your high school counselor because they should be able to provide you with information and instructions on how to complete that application. For a cloud, um, our priority deadline is June 1st, so you have plenty of time to complete the FAFSA application, so don't feel like you have to rush and complete that right now. The next most important part that I believe in is the scholarship application. So that actually opened October 1st as well. So last Thursday that became available. The deadline for the scholarship application is March 1st. Our scholarships are first come first serve. We do have um, foundation scholarships and um, academic scholarships. Out of all of those, we only require one application for scholarships, um, so that's very nice and convenient for the students. Um, the scholarship application has six essay questions with um, a lot of detail um, for you to put in, and then that will help the scholarship committee when they begin to award those. So if you're interested in cloud, make sure you're completing the scholarship application. That way, um, you can get that submitted and get in on the awarding process once that begins. Um, for the question about where cloud is located, we are located in north central Kansas in Concordia, Kansas. Um, so if you're in the area, it's about, oh, an hour, hour and a half from Manhattan. Um, we're also about an hour north of Salina, Kansas. The fourth step is to apply for housing. The housing application opens mid-February of every year. Um, so if you're interested in living in the dorms on campus, the application will open here in the next few months. There is a $100 deposit fee on that, so just keep that in mind. We have a couple different styles of housing. We have your traditional dorm style, um, and then we also have apartments on campus. So you can see a picture right here. This is what one of the bedrooms looks like. This is located over in the apartments. In the apartments, you get a um, kitchen, living room, bathroom, and then two bedrooms that you share with three other roommates. And then the last step is just to get enrolled. So the enrollment process always begins for incoming freshmen in April. Um, and it runs throughout the summer up until August. We have about seven different enrollment events that we have here on campus. And that allows you to come back to campus and meet with your advisor. Um, that way you can meet with them face to face and get enrolled in your classes for the following semester. Right here is a chart of all of the different fields of study that we have. Instead of having a list of majors and minors, we condensed it down to 12 fields of study with a focus area within each one. Um, our main ones are going to be, um, let's see here. 
um, the wind energy program business and then our nursing program is also one of our popular fields of study. So if you're interested in um, wind energy or nursing, we have great programs here. We're one, um, one of the biggest colleges with that wind program. So um, it's very popular and it's a very demanding industry. So that is all I have. And I think my six minutes are about up. Does anybody have any other questions before I finish up here? And if you have any other questions, please feel free to drop them in to the Q&A and um, she will be able to um, answer them at any time throughout the presentation. So thank you, Cloud uh, Com County Community College. Yes, thank you. So next we have Dodge, um, Dodge City Community College. So again, while they're getting their presentation um, set up, Again, any questions to any presenters at any time, feel free to drop them off in the Q&A. So Dodge City Community College. Perfect. Hi everyone, I'm Christina Frick and I'm an admissions rep. Sorry, one second. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. I'm an admissions rep at Dodge City Community College and I'm excited to tell you a little bit about the Comp Nation and why our school might be the perfect fit for you. Um, if you have questions during this presentation, please feel free to uh, send a chat to us and we will get those answered for you. So first off, um, I want to talk about how affordable Dodge City Community College is. So if you live in the Ford County area, you're only going to have to pay $29 per credit hour. And if you live anywhere else in Kansas, you will pay $47 per credit hour. And then out of state and international students will pay that $57 per credit hour. But you have to remember that there are scholarships available for you guys to um, apply for as well. A big question that we often get asked right now are how much more are our online classes than face-to-face? -face? And our online classes are going to be that same price as um, the face-to-face. -face. So it makes it nice if you're not really wanting to um, go in and have that um, in-class face-to-face. Um, so at DC3, our undergraduate student population is around 1,500 students with a student-to-faculty ratio of 11 to 1. And you will not be overwhelmed with these large class sizes and you will get that one-on-one -on -one personal relationship with your professors. As a student, you will also have the opportunity to make friends from around the United States and from around the world. So DC3 has 38 states and 24 different countries that are represented here. As you can see, they're being highlighted up there on the PowerPoint. Another topic we receive questions about is our student housing. And at DC3, we have four residence halls and they are Sheldon and Becker halls which feature apartment style floor plans, and then Jackson and Corn Webb halls, which feature suite style floor plans. So you will only share your bathroom with one other person, which makes it really nice. Also, Coleman Webb isn't up there, but we are using that for quarantine purposes right now. Our current list of campus clubs gives students the opportunity to be a part of activities that they enjoy, and then if you're not seeing a particular club up there that you um, are interested in, they are adding new clubs every single year. So three of our new clubs are our chess club, and then we have our eSports club that's new, and also the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the new club this year. Dodge City Community College is also home to 17 different sports, and we are home to two NJCAA um, national championships, 121 NJCAA All-Americans, and countless KJCCC Region 5 championships and uh, specialty award winners. Also, if you are interested in a sport here at DC3, you can go onto our website and fill out the questionnaire form and it'll send to the coach of your choice. Another big attractor for our school is our two-year certificate program which gives students an opportunity to gain that experience and get on the job as quickly as possible. 
um, two new workforce programs that are coming to DC3 in the fall of 2021 that we are very excited about are our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning program, and also our um, electrical technology program. So we are really excited about those coming here in the fall. And our school cares a lot about your education and we want you to be successful. Um, our Student Achievement Resource Center, or the SARC, has free tutoring for all students, whether you are taking classes online or face-to-face. -face. Uh, the SARC also offers free printing, computer labs, quiet rooms, and academic advising. Um, also, if you are um, advanced in a subject, you can become a tutor as well, and you will be paid for that. Uh, along with the SARC, we also have other resources for our students, uh, such as our TRIO program that serves low-income students, students with disabilities, and first-generation college students. Um, and along with the TRIO program, we also have our Connection Center that offers our college transfer resources to help students move on to that four-year school of their choice after DC3. And now that we are coming to our time, our end of our time together. I want to thank you for your attention. And I also want you to be able to come and visit us. So if you have questions about enrollment or um, you want to come take a visit here, feel free to contact us at 620-225-1321 or you can email us at admit at dc3.edu. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and our next institution um, is Neosho um, Community College. So as they are sharing their screen, um, again, just a reminder that you can ask the presenters any questions at any time. Um, and I'll hand it over to Neosho Community College. Hi, I'm Amy Morris, Director of Admissions at Neosho County Community College here in Chanute, Kansas. Let me get this going for us. Just some fast facts about NCCC. We serve about an average of 4,000 students each academic year. We do have small class sizes. Our student to faculty ratio averages about 11 kids in the classroom to one student or one instructor. We offer unlimited free tutoring for any current student, whether you're enrolled in one hour or 21 hours. We have flexible course schedules with classes offered 52 weeks a year, and we also have multiple locations. We are located in Chanute with our main campus. We have a commuter campus in Ottawa. We have an online campus, and then we have numerous outreach locations located in Southeast and Northeast Kansas. Our tuition and fee rates are based on student residency and the location of the course that's being taken. So the cost is per credit hour, although some classes do have additional fees. Um, book rental is available for most of our classes to help make earning a degree or certificate a little more affordable. These figures that you're seeing right now are what our current 2021 fees are, but they can change uh, for the next school year. Our financial aid department offers assistance in lots of different ways to eligible degree and certificate seeking students. We have hundreds of thousands of dollars available in grants, scholarships, loans, and part-time employment opportunities. Students must complete the free application for federal student aid, which is also known as the FAFSA, and that is opened on October 1st, so go ahead and get that filled out but we want to make sure that every student is able to try to attend college as feasibly as possible. To earn an associate's degree at Neosho County Community College, you must complete successfully 64 credit hours. Our Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degrees are usually the most popular choices for students who are planning on transferring to a four-year institution to complete a bachelor's degree program. 
Our Associate of Applied Science degrees offer several majors that can lead you directly into the workforce or can help you transfer to a four years bachelor's degree, while our Associate of General Studies degree is the perfect choice for you to uh, advance in your current job. Darn it, I clicked the wrong, hang on. Our certificate programs typically take one to three semesters to complete, which is a lot less time than what our single level certificates take. We offer things such as accounting, construction, management, marketing. We also have court reporting, electrical technology, HVAC, nursing. We do offer three certificates that are programs where you get the uh, information from us and then you take your state tests and those would be your CNA, CMA, and EMT courses. Amy, do you want to advance to that slide? I'm sorry. I, it is on one of my screens. My screens are kind of not working the right way. <laughs> so hang on. I'm so sorry. Let me restart that, Annabelle. Okay. Okay, are you seeing the slideshow now? Yes, it's on presenter mode. Okay. Do I need, how do I get it out? I'm... I think it, it'll be fine if you want to just continue to advance. Okay, that's where I'm trying, trying to catch up to where we were. I'm so sorry. Okay, our clubs and organizations that we offer we have numerous programs, clubs, and organizations on both campuses. Uh, we found that students who are more involved in groups outside the classroom tend to be a little more successful. So we have lots of clubs and opportunities that you can choose from. Our residence life, we do have two different uh, dorm rooms, dorm halls on our campuses. These are only located on the Chanute campus. Badeau is our largest residence hall. It holds 213 students. The rooms are set up suite style. We have free laundry in each hallway with vending machines. Everything is available 24 seven. Neocan is our other residence hall that is located on the Chanute campus. It houses 75 students. We do offer 19 meals per week in our cafeteria to any student who is living in the residence halls. That means three meals a day, Monday through Friday, and two meals on Saturday and Sunday. In Neocan, it is set up old school, so everybody in the hall shares one locker room style restroom area. We also offer 11 different intercollegiate sports on our Chanute campus. We have men's, women's, and co-ed sports. Student athletes are offered the opportunity to compete at the regional and national levels, and our coaching staff works very hard to develop leadership and teamwork skill, skills while building a reputation as winners on and off of the field. And then if you need to contact us, you can always check our website out. We are located in Chanute and Ottawa. And then we have several different email options that you can contact us with. Check out our website and we hope to hear back from you. Thank you. 
Yes, thank you so much. And our next um, institution is Allen, excuse me, Allen County Community College. All right. And you'll be sharing your um, your screen as well. Got it all there? Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and get started then. My name is Jeremy McGinnis. I'm an admissions counselor at Allen Community College. Um, if you have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I was a student here back in the day as well, and I, I like to call this the meat and potatoes of the school, if you will. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. We offer four associate degrees at, here at Allen, Associates in Arts, Associates of Science, Associates in Applied Science, and Associates in General Studies. Within those four degrees will be your popular professional program or major, whatever you decide to major in at the four-year school will determine on what associate degree path you go to. Um, at a four-year school, you're gonna get a general education out of the way your first two years. We just give you opportunity to do it in a smaller setting and a much more inexpensive cost. Up to 93 hours can transfer uh, to four-year schools within the state, um, and a lot of those can transfer out of state as well. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have nice academic support in the corner of the library, which is our free tutoring. Um, and you can also type up papers or print them out and give them to our, um, our academic support uh, director, Bruce Sines. He used to work for a newspaper and he can fill out um, the, uh, your paper with you and make sure that you uh, have the right structure and base to do that with. And he has tutoring available as well. Um, our faculty and staff are going to be about 15 to 1 or 20 to 1. You're going to be a mentorship with your teachers. They're going to know you by your first name, and you're going to know them by theirs as well. Uh, online learning. We offer all of our associate degrees online. We're most affordable associate degrees uh, in the region. Um, uh, and we have a bunch of uh, um, uh, awards that we've had in this past uh, few years uh, for being that um, one of the most affordable associate degrees um, online. Uh, we do have our music and art and theater department. Um, we have art and music appreciation classes for electives. Um, we do have a jazz band. We have a choir. We have a, a band that do festivals around the area. And the music department coincides with the theater department when they do their musical. Um, these, there are scholarship opportunities within this department as well. Uh, we are um, in athletics. We are Red Devils. We are the JL Conference. It's the most respected conferences in the nation. All of our facilities here on campus are in Iola campus. Um, and uh, to be the best, you have to play against the best, and we definitely do that on a regular basis. Uh, we have some nice activities, as you can see here, uh, to be involved in outside of the classroom and maybe your sport as well. Uh, these are just some fun facts about the school. We are founded in 1923, um, the second level of the high school. Uh, we moved over here on campus in 1969. We have about 300 students that live on campus with six residential halls. Um, we'll talk about the residential halls in more detail in just a bit. Uh, we are located about an hour and a half, two hours from Topeka, as you can see here. Uh, hour and a half, hour and 20 from Kansas City. Uh, Wichita is about two hours, Tulsa's two, and Joplin's about an hour and 45. Um, so not too far from um, bigger cities, but a nice little small community as well here in Iowa, Kansas, uh, Southeast Kansas. Uh, we do have a nine hole disc golf course in town, if you're into that. Um, just definitely you want to lay up on hole two, otherwise it might go in the creek. We've seen it happen a few times. We have bike shares where you can actually go into the library, you can fill out some paperwork, show your ID, and you can get a bike for three days um, and then re-up that if you'd like to keep going with it. Uh, campus living, as I said before, uh, with our residential halls, we do have Horton, Winter, Masterson, Heinrich Hall, the Parkford Apartments, and Red Devil Duplexes. Horton and Winter are a suite style where you have two to room, two to room, and then you have a bathroom in the middle. You can lock it over some privacy. You only have to share it with three other students. Um, the cost there is $5,002 for the year, and that includes your eight meal, 18 meals a week. Um, that's three meals a day, Monday through Friday, a brunch on Saturday, um, a brunch on Sunday, dinner on Sunday as well. Um, and then in the apartment style, it's two to a room, uh, and then two to another room, and then you have a front living area and a kitchen area. So you can see there with the cost, it's a little bit more spacious, so it's 5009 for the year, and that includes 10 meals a week because you have a kitchen area, and they expect you to do some cooking on your own. Whether it's magical things with ramen, they expect you to do some cooking on your own a bit. Okay? Uh, we do have student life. Uh, where uh, we have a director of student life. His name is Josiah Dobini, and he um, makes sure that you have different activities going on outside of the classroom. 
Um, steps to become a student. First step is filling out an application for admissions. It's free, it's online, it puts you in the system and you get about, it only takes you about 10 to 15 minutes um, at most. Uh, getting in your test assignments, or excuse me, your test assessments, your AccuPlacer or the ACT. Um, coming for a visit, seeing if Alan's a good fit for you. And then obviously we talked about the housing. We have the application contract and the deposit. Deposit's $100. It rolls over from semester to semester, year to year. As long as you don't rock star your room up, you get that $100 back. Financial aid, filling out the FAFSA, seeing what you're awarded um, for help you pay for school or qualify for a pill, or maybe even a student loans if you need to take those out. Um, and then with our scholarships, we do have some uh, very attractive athletic scholarships. And as you can see here, we have some nice scholarships as well for our in-state students. We are $60 a credit hour, 25 for fees, 25 for technical fees, which is 110, and you add $14 on top of that with our textbook rental system here. So as long as you don't use your book as a rain cover and you bring it back the same way you got it, you don't have to worry about trying to buy it or sell it back. $124 a credit hour. Okay? Uh, we do have some important dates coming up. November uh, 4th, we're going to be doing um, uh, some possibly online um, uh, uh, senior day. So if you're interested in doing that, then we can um, chat with you more about that. Just give us a call and contact. We do have a Burlingame campus, Iola campus, and we also have our online campus, which is our three campuses. Um, so yeah, and if we have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask. And I look forward to all any of your questions. Thank you so much. Um, and our next college is Highland Community College. So again, our presenters are here um, to answer any questions you may have. I do see that there's some questions in the Q&A, uh, but feel free to ask any questions um, to any of the presenters. Thank you. Hey, well, hello. My name is Stephanie Peterson. I am the Director of Admissions here at Highland Community College. Also with us um, via chat is Amy Dulac. She is our student services admissions representative at the college as well. So glad you could join us today. Like everyone said, please feel free to ask any questions in the comments if you have them. So a little bit about us. Um, some people wonder where we are located. So here is a map. You can see in the very northeast corner of Kansas is where our main campus is located, actually in Highland, Kansas. That's our traditional campus where our athletics and our apartment style housing is located. And then you can see we have some other locations as well that might be close to you. Um, so we have lots of wonderful opportunities um, for some different uh, community are offerings uh, to take your classes, whether they're face-to-face, -face, technical, um, kind of a combination of online and face-to-face, -face, which we call hybrid, um, and then of course that traditional online offering. So we have something close to you to be able to offer exactly what you need. So let's talk cost for a moment. This is a cost graph, um, not to uh, perhaps call out any other institutions and the cost, but to actually compare, it's kind of a helpful visual to know what is the actual cost to attend Highland compared to other colleges and universities, which might be part of your education plan. We often want to point out that it's a great idea to start at a community college because um, perhaps you could save a little money in your first one or two years um, when you attend Highland before then transferring to those other institutions. Um, so lots of wonderful opportunities, but it's great to have a plan. Our cost per, for tuition, fees, and book rental is $120 a credit hour. And that is for our face-to-face -face classes as well as our online classes. So to help cover costs though, we do have some academic scholarship options. So on the left, you can see um, some of our different academic scholarship areas. Those cover your tuition and your book rental. Um, most of those scholarship areas do not have a minimum ACT or GPA requirement. So hopefully that can kind of put your mind at ease. Um, those areas might be your major. Um, or they could be areas of participation, things that you're interested in pursuing. You can still do that at a community college and you can have a scholarship to cover your tuition and book rental. Our athletics is also, are also listed here. And so those are a wonderful way to help cover the cost of college as well. Um, our coaches are really in charge of recruiting for their programs. We do have very successful athletic programs. We're part of the Jayhawk Conference. 
Um, and down in the bottom right, we just want to quickly kind of point out a note about our foundation scholarships. Um, those application, there is a separate application that's available online. That application is due February 15th. Um, that is the only scholarship that you can actually stack on top of an academic or athletic scholarship. Um, but that is given by very generous donors and alumni, friends of the college. So I encourage you to apply for those uh, foundation scholarships as well. So let's talk a little bit about housing. All of our housing is apartment style. Um, so you can see a few pictures here of just um, a bit of our apartment style housing. Most of our housing units um, house four students. So two bedrooms with two students per bedroom. And then the four of you share your common spaces, your bathroom, your living room, and your kitchen. Um, we have actually kind of limited the number of students living on campus this year due to COVID um, to allow more single occupancy options. Um, so we may continue that in the future, but we do have currently about 400 students living on campus. Um, typically we can have about 450 students on campus. So that kind of gives you an idea of our size. Lots of student life activities available to students as well. We want you to be successful in the classroom, but we also want you to make friends, make those lifelong connections. So you can see some lists of activities and events that are available on our campus, as well as intramural sports. We encourage you to get involved. <laughs> We've got some good pictures of the hot wing eating contest, pie in the face contest, all kinds of different things for students to get involved with. And again, just make those connections, get out, meet new people. Also, we wanna help you build your resume as you're attending Highlands. So we have different clubs and organizations. We also often encourage students to get involved in these clubs and organizations because there are often students with kind of some of the like interests that you may have. So we encourage you to find a club and organization and get involved. We also wanna mention we have technical program options. So we have one year and two year technical programs. As you've heard perhaps before, these are those hands-on um, programs. So very um, specific training in those areas of your interest. Um, so these programs are taught by instructors right from the field. Um, so you're getting um, excellent instruction uh, from people who know what they're talking about. So this is a great place to be trained um, and then to go out and get a job. We also want to highlight um, our online. Um, it is actually the same cost that we spoke of before as well. It's that $120 per credit hour um, with the $15 that includes that book rental fee. So that's a wonderful opportunity for students to take those online classes that can be from the safety of your own home. Um, perhaps even if you are working and taking classes, you can do that with HCC online. Let me go ahead and get our video. Here we go. I chose to come to Highland Community College because of the affordability. With my scholarship, I'll be graduating debt free. But the best part is, I'm getting the same college experience as a lot of my friends who go to four year universities. So that was just kind of a brief aerial video of our campus we wanted to show you, but if you would love to come check us out in person, you can visit online or virtually and also apply for admission. It's free and never too early. If you have additional questions, there's our contact information down below. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much. Um, and now I just want to um, make sure we open it up for any um, questions, any additional questions uh, that students may have. I am looking at the chat and I see that there's um, some questions for some of the presenters. Again, this is your time to be able to um, answer any or ask any questions that you have, uh, whether it's specific to a institution or uh, general questions about the college search um, process. I see there's still um, a couple students, great, um, asking questions. Um, again, they can be general or to a specific um, college. So we'll take this, um, these last remaining minutes to um, make sure that your questions are being answered. And um, while the representatives are answering your questions, I'll go ahead and uh, provide you with some 
um, ending remarks as we are getting close to conclude um, concluding our uh, session today. Um, just want to let you know that when we close this window, there will be a very quick four question survey. We'd really appreciate any feedback that you can provide. And also, this was just one of the many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions as well. And in about a week, you'll be able to find the session's recording as well as any other session's recordings um, at the website where you registered as well. So um, if there aren't any other questions, I know there's one question specific to Highland. Um, just want to make sure that that is being answered. Okay, and um, just uh, uh, if, if all the presenters can actually come back online. Great. Um, and just to show a hand, I see that there's a Q&A. Um, there's a question about who had wealthy. So if you want to just raise your hand um, as a if you, if uh, any institutions they have welding, okay, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so that that would answer um, the question to that student. Um, I see there aren't any other questions um, currently. We'll just wait a couple more seconds before closing the session. Okay, well, you know, thank you to our panelists uh, for your time. Thank you again for attending the session and we'll see you in the next. Thank you.